Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to look at the table layout. So table layout is uh, another part of uh, HTML tables and therefore without wasting any time let's get started. Go to the git bash and we are in the web dev. We are going to open it using VS Code by typing code space dot ender. This one. Uh, this one. Let me maximize. Yes. Now, when you look at this, you are seeing that uh, our image is here, and the other things are right here. So, what we I want us to do, I want us to make this a bit longer. But before we even go, let's look at our website by by running python manager py to check our website uh, okay let's see let's open you can see we have uh, the image here and we have the description here. So we can split we can we can split this sentence into two by using break attribute uh, break a uh, self closing tag. And it is here. I can come here and say break and control S to save changes. Come here, refresh. Yeah. So I want this image and these words to be uh, laid out. By the way, uh, this is good in CSS where we are going, but it doesn't mean with HTML you cannot make a simple layout. So let's get see how it's going to be done. Now um here we want to make a temple. Temple like that. And within a temple we want table row. Within a table row, we want table data and another table data. Now, this first one, it is actually a uh, this is a, row or a one row uh, with, with the two columns or two cells. So we can take the first cell and uh, we put the image, the first cell, like this. some problem let me just uh, use this other way of uh, highlighting it because you can actually use this uh, triple click to make the data line uh, 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 highlighted like this and then we can control X to cut and make it come here into the into the first table data. The second one is this one. 
and you cut it up to the horizontal roll. And the horizontal roll is here. So you can you can copy it up to there. Control X and come here and you can do a bit of paste everything and then. Let me make it a bit good. And uh, this one, I can make it go to the next. So that you can see that, uh, let me make it this one also the layout. So in the first table data, we have image, and in the second table data, we have uh, the description. This is the first column, this is the second column. So let Let's see how it is. Control S to save the changes and refresh the page. And you see? It's good. So, uh, actually, what we are going to do now is making, when you see the, the mansion, the mansion, uh, don't worry about this. This means uh, when you look at the internet connection, it is not connected to internet, and that because we used uh, we are using the we are fetching the the image right from my LinkedIn account. So it it should be uh, online for this to display. So that's why we had the static and uh, the internet images. So we did image internet here. So this is the reason why you cannot see image here. So if you, if you use the method we, we used and you connect to net, you can see the image. So what I want us to do is to make a, a space here so that they, they are not in to contact with each other like this. And this is going to be done by using cell spacing and cell spacing This spacing is equal to let's say 20 pixel control s and come here see the margin and then we refresh and you see there is now a good margin between our image and our our explanation so today i want us to stop at that and next time we shall continue from there. Welcome, thank you.